Hey there, it's Michelle from Lucky Cat Social Art and we are coming at you today with a tutorial, a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make these beautiful handmade paper frames that you only need to have household, everyday objects, things you can find around the house, materials. So let's go over our material list first. First of all, you're gonna have to find some cardboard. And really, if you have cardstock, that will work, but it can be anything. This is a contact solution box, a box of cookies. We've cut some out of a Lucky Charms box and some Dino Nuggets. Really, it doesn't matter. You just need some kind of stiff, thicker than paper cardboard. You'll also need some paper. And really, again, you can use whatever you have around the house. Here, my lovely assistant has some construction paper. If you've got that, that'll work, and you can use some markers to decorate it. What else can we use, assistant? We can use a calendar, a youth calendar, and you don't need it anymore. But today we have some this. beautiful decorative scrapbook paper. So we happen to have some scrapbook paper lying around, so that's what we're going to use to cover up our cardboard. Really, again, it doesn't matter. You just need it to cover the cardboard. Here are a list of our other supplies. Assistant. So we need a sharp pencil, scissors. It doesn't really matter. So you can have a glue stick, some just regular Elmo's glue, or some tape. Which one do we think is the easiest to use, though? A glue stick. For sure. Then you're also going to need some kind of stuffing to put into the frame of your paper. We know paper towels are hard to come by, but if you have a paper towel to spare, you'll probably only need just one little sheet like this. Or if you don't have any paper towel, something else you can use is this newspaper or sales bill that comes in the mail once a week. You can use even something like that. So we're gonna show you how to take all of these materials and make this. Stay tuned, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and have fun making your handmade paper frame. All right, let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. So I've taken my one piece of cardboard and I've pre-marked it with the Sharpie, just so you can see clearly where I will be cutting it out. You take your photo and you come around an inch from the photo. So it doesn't really matter the size of photo that you use. You could even use something that you've printed off of your printer and just go out an inch from the size of that photo and mark it all around. You're gonna go an inch from the top, an inch from the side, all around until you have an inch from the photo. Then I'm gonna go ahead and mark the photo here too. And then I'll go ahead and cut it out. Eventually you're going to want one piece of your cardboard to look like this and the other piece to have a rectangular cutout in the middle. How do you get that from this piece right here? This is our little tip and trick. You're gonna take your sharp pencil and you're gonna really dig into that cardboard from corner to corner of your inner rectangle. You can go ahead and even poke a hole with your pencil to get a hole in there that you're gonna be able to stick your scissors. You're gonna take your scissors, cut from one corner center to the corner, and then again from the center to the corner on the other side, you're gonna repeat that process until you have that whole center piece cut out and it is looking like the outer piece is cut out and the inner piece is cut out just like this. So you're going to want to end up with two pieces of cardboard. Next we're ready to make the decorative paper to wrap around the cardboard frame. So again I'm going to go out an inch 
from the size of my cardboard, come around the sides, the tops, bottom, and the other side. We're gonna go ahead and mark that, and then we will cut it out once again. You're going to want to also make sure that you have the middle section marked. We did this on the nice side of the paper. To avoid having pencil marks, I suggest using the other side or the blank side of the paper. Just a little thing we learned along the way that makes it look nicer and neater. Remember, go ahead and mark the inside, and then we're gonna use our same method of using that X to be able to cut out a nice, clean looking rectangle in the middle. Let's go ahead and demo how to create that nice, neat inner rectangle. I made a hole here in the corner, but really you just need to make a hole in the center with your sharp pencil. You're gonna go ahead and stick your scissors in there and you're gonna cut from center to corner, center to corner, center to corner, and one last time, center to corner. You're going to want to leave those triangles intact because they're going to wrap around the cardboard frame and finish it off really nicely. Now we're going to go ahead and show you how to cover the back part of the frame with our piece of cardboard that does not have the hole in the rectangular. We're going to go through the same process. We're just going to take the cardboard and measure about an inch around all the sides, top and bottom. We'll mark that and then we'll go ahead and cut it out. We're gonna go ahead and take that decorative paper that we've cut out and we are going to fold it around our cardboard to give it nice crisp lines. I'm just kind of holding it taut and folding it at the same time. And then we will go ahead and do that on all four sides. We can go ahead and take that cardboard out and we're gonna go ahead and put some glue on the back of this cardboard. We're gonna use our glue stick and we will go from corner to corner with that glue stick. Now we can go ahead and stick that cardboard right into the center of our decorative paper. Give it a good press, make sure that glue is adhered to the paper, and we are ready for our next step. We're gonna go ahead and put some glue on the cardboard, and we are going to go ahead and fold over that decorative paper on top of the glue stick. Give it a good press, make sure that it's adhered. We'll do that to all four sides until we have glue on all four sides. And voila, the back of our frame is looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and work on the front of our frame. We're gonna take our cardboard with the center cut out. We're also gonna take our decorative paper that has the X cut out of it. And we are gonna show you how to go ahead and make the front of this frame have a really cool feature which is a padded front so you can use your paper towel or you can use the insert uh, newspaper and we're gonna put that in between the cardboard and the paper so let's go ahead and mark the inside of the frame and the outside of the frame like I said we should have done this step earlier but that's okay it's not too late to fix it we're gonna put that padding right around the frame right here. So we've decided to use the newspaper insert. You don't really need much, so we're gonna go ahead and split that between myself and our assistant, and I will give her some, and I'm gonna give myself some, and I will measure and fold about the size of that frame right there. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. 
and then I will hold it up to make sure that it's gonna fit. Looks like we need just a bit cut off. My assistant's gonna cut off a little bit for us here. Whoops, we just need a little bit more cut off. There you go. So we'll repeat this process. We'll go ahead and fold that paper and measure it all along each of the sides. And then we will also glue it into place. You can see here, we just put a little bit of the glue stick there and then we are going to adhere and press right there. And we'll do this all around. Now that we have our padding in place, we are going to take our cardboard frame, apply some of the glue stick generously all around the cardboard frame. We're gonna flip it over and then we are going to make sure that it is adhered to the padding by giving it a nice good press. Now from here, we're gonna wanna go ahead and apply some more glue on the back of that cardboard frame. And we are going to fold over the sides of our decorative paper. We're taking the inner triangles and we're giving a good press all around both sides and adhering it in that way. Let's go ahead and trim off the excess on these triangles here. We just want some clean folds. So I'm gonna go around and trim off the excess. I also, in each of the corners, made a diagonal cut, again, to get a clean, nice fold. We're gonna adhere some glue to every single side of the cardboard. Uh-oh, it looks like we are almost out of glue. But guess what? Here's a little trick. Dig your scissors into that glue stick and pop that glue stick out because there's a lot of glue still in there. You can use your scissors, use your finger to spread that out, but we are gonna get every last little chunk out of there that we can. Let's get that on all of the exposed cardboard, and then we are gonna go ahead and fold it over nice and neat once again. All right, so let's take our scissors and trim off these excess paper pieces on the edges there. If you've got any parts that are not sticking, Dig a little bit of more glue out of your glue stick and give it a good press. We wanna make sure that those edges are nice and neat and secure. So just go around, trim off the excess and stick a little bit of glue in there if you need to. All right, so we are in the home stretch. You've got the beautiful front of your frame. You also have the back of your frame. And now we just have to adhere the front to the back. Keep in mind that you're gonna have to slip a photo in. So you're going to want to leave space on the side or the top, depending on the orientation of the photo that you decide to use. But you do wanna secure the other sides with your glue. And there you go, you've got a handmade paper frame. We have an optional step here of adding a stand in the back. To do that, all you have to do is take a piece of your cardboard, take a little bit of your decorative paper, and cover that up and then adhere it with a glue stick on the back, depending on the orientation of your photo, either vertically or horizontally. Well, there you go. We hope you have so much fun making these handmade paper frames. We love these because they're customizable and they're beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and have a great day.